The tortilla española began stalking me in magazines. Then I stumbled across the recipe in a Mario Batali cookbook. But the last straw was when famous Washington, D.C. chef Jose Andres showed a tortilla española being made on his show, Made in Spain. The time had come for me to try making the Spanish egg dish on my own. And you slide. Flip. And slide. Flip. Becca, what are you doing? I am practicing my technique to make a perfect tortilla de patatas. Duh. That's a towel. Uh, yeah, I know. I only have one carton of eggs and I don't want to use them all up. Alright, well if you break all those Slide. eggs, you gotta buy the next carton. Fine. And if I don't, you gotta buy it next time. It's your money. We'll see about that. Yep. And slide. This week on Working Class Foodies. He takes every spice out of the cabinet. Sprinkles everything in. Everything. So we're sitting there, we're all looking at each other going, oh, geez. Really not gonna taste good. It was one of the better tasting things that I've had. Oh, that's just his cooking. That's, that's just his style. The classic tortilla is just eggs, potatoes, and olive oil. And luckily, we had potatoes left over from our market salad. You rinse the potatoes and then you dry them off. And then we cut them really thin into very thin slices. Well, you're cutting them that way. Yeah, what are you doing? Cut them the other way. Well, you're an idiot. Once potatoes were all cut, we rinsed them to get off all the starch, and then we dried them again. So now I'm going to dry them off because obviously it would be a very, very bad idea to put wet potatoes or wet watery anything in a uh, big pan of hot, hot oil. oil. Good way to get burned. Yeah. I think those are pretty good. Yeah. Spanish fried potatoes. this out, get it even, and we let it cook until the edges have just set. So making the tortilla is, I wouldn't say it's tricky, but there's a little technique involved. All right, let's let this set just a little bit more, and then we're gonna attempt to flip it, <laughs> which is really, really an attempt. All right, so there's step one. You cook it on one side, and then you flip it over. When I flipped it, it almost didn't work, and I almost got the tortilla all over the stove. Because I really like the flavor of thyme with eggs, I put some fresh thyme on top at the end. It's really good. Thank you. Potatoes are nice. You crisp them up beforehand, and then they just kind of they kind of just melt into the eggs a little bit yeah. because they're cut so thin. There's no like odd texture between the soft egg and the crispy potatoes. The tortilla was so good that we made another one that weekend. This time with lots of garlic and chorizo. It was even better the second time around, and even easier to flip. So the cost breakdown for the tortilla, I mean, we pretty much just used pantry items. You need six eggs, which is about two dollars, half a pound of fingerling potatoes for about a dollar, and good olive oil, salt, and pepper. From there, you can add anything you want from fresh herbs to meat or cheese, depends on what you have lying around or what you feel like eating. We had everything we needed, so technically this entire meal was free. I don't think it gets much more affordable than that. So this is how uh, we made our Spanish tortilla. If you've made a, a tortilla before, share that experience with us. We'd love to hear about it. Or if you have a dish that's been haunting your dreams <laughs> and you finally got to make it, send us that too. Yeah, we'd love to feature it on our blog.